we have a class with the main method now i will show you how to create a thread local variable so thread local of type integer tl1 equal to new thread local at this point of time if we try to access the value of this thread local variable we will get the value as null so let me run this yeah so we got the value as null why because we have not uh, set the value of the thread local so let's set that value so i'm going to set the value as 100 so now if we try to access the, the value now it will give us the value as 100 So, uh, if we want to set the value of the uh, thread local uh, at the time of creation only, there are few ways to do that. Let me show you the first way. Uh, in the first way, uh, what we have to do, we have to call the uh, static method of the thread local class. That's uh, thread local dot uh, with initial value. So let's call that method thread local to equal to thread local dot with initial value and with initial value method takes a supplier uh, object so pass the anonymous implementation of uh, the supplier we will have to provide the implementation of the get method so let me return the value as uh, 200 now at this point of time if we uh, try to print the value of the third local it will give us the value as 200 okay so uh, over here we have pa actually passed the anonymous implementation of supplier interface uh, the other way is uh, we can pass the uh, lambda expression. So let me show that thread local integer tl3 equal to thread local dot with initial value and now I will pass the lambda expression. Uh, and I will return the value as 300 so now if we try to get the value th from thread local it will give us the value as 300 there is other way uh, as well uh, to initialize the value and that is to override the uh, initial value method of the thread local class so let, let me show that thread local integer tl4 equal to new thread local and we will override the uh, initial value method. So let's generate that part. Uh, I will return the value as 400. Okay, so now if we try to print this value, we will get the value as 400. Okay, so these are the few ways to create the thread local variable and initialize with. Uh, some initial value.